recognized as the MVP or Defensive Player of the Year, but added that he loved that both Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid's names were in those conversations in ways he felt like they hadn't been in the past. He added that from his vantage point, most players need to have an MVP or DPOY caliber season before actually winning the award. And Joel Embiid said, so long as they're holding up the Larry O'Brien trophy, it'll all be worth it. And Doc added he believes both players will earn those awards in the near future, Dave. And he did get one first place vote, but missing 21 games while Nicola 6 of 13, 1 of 4 from 3. Here's Collins on the cut, and Bible lets him have it. Right there, Howard allowed his man on that pick and roll to roll right to the basket, thinking that there would be a rotation. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. A turnover on the other end by Philly, the first in the last 15 minutes they played almost a perfect third quarter to extend their lead. Shot clock down to four. Howard going to take it, and it's way off. Oh, boy. It didn't hit the rim, so it ends up in the hands of George Hill, and he beats the shot clock. He can defeat for you. He can defend. Watch that. Wow. That didn't just miss the rim. <laughs> that almost missed the backboard. <laughs> almost missed the arena. But George Hill, with a heads-up play, drills the three as the shot clock expires. What well, could have been a five or six point swing. That was a big bucket. Free throw goes down for Lou Williams. And you remember how this game started? I mean, the place was going crazy. And then the first basket for Atlanta was a lucky shot that hit the top of the backboard. Instead of going over, it went not only in the court. Well, Landon, once again, back in this little 2-3 zone. Uh, once, once they get that opportunity, but this is the problem. Howard fouled. Without the White Howard getting booed. Played here in Atlanta for a year and grew up in Atlanta and has been a big part of this Philadelphia second unit throughout the year. Well, we brought out earlier that, you know, he at the time, a block shot, and then his bulk and the threat of the block shot on that second unit is absolutely valuable. Howard gets a lot of minutes here in the fourth quarter. and Embiid's played 27 minutes. You imagine Doc will try to rest him some. They do have tomorrow and Sunday off. Game four is Monday night. It's an 18-point lead right now for Philadelphia. Trying to go up 2-1 in the series. Here's Harris driving. Can't finish. There's Howard again with the offensive rebound. He'll go back to the line. Great work on the offensive glass by Dwight Howard again. And meanwhile, Tobias Harris is down. All night long, right from the open. for three tonight. Well, the Harris situation is vital that he's okay. Mainly because during the season, he averaged 19 and a half points a game. Shot over 50%, great in threes, over 80 on the line. Second leading scorer on the team. Now, in this series, he's averaging 20. See his value, because everything is off the dribble, and if he gets ahead of you, if anyone tries to double team, they make the play, and then MP is open. Game into the league at age 18. Harris now in his 10th season. In the league, played his college ball, nice. Tennessee, scores again, and he's got 16 points. We know he's okay now. He just handled it three quarters of the yes. court, uh, <laughs> in and out on the dribble, and that's it. He saw the opening. Largest deficit of the entire postseason for the Atlanta Hawks right now, trailing by 22. Gallinari gets the bounce, and he's got 14 off. Standing because they've reduced the team that is an ex excellent three-point shooting team into only a few good looks during the course of this game. And then the fact that they're four for 18, you, you, that backs that up. But I like what you said about covering. They're covering the last two games after that great game one. Gonna try one from the logo. That one goes down. But is it too late? For Young and the Hawks with 6.45 to go down 17. They get to the point where they're in the bonus. That they're going to start hacking Simmons and putting him on the line and try to. Nice. As MB catches, blocked by Capella, out of bounds. Going to see Dikembe Mutombo. 
appreciating the oh, block shot. Right. Here's Embiid. Oh, step back three in and out. Rebounded by Collins. The shot clock was winding down there, so Embiid had to put it up. Midway through the fourth. Young feeds nice. Capella. Oh, Embiid goes down hard. Capella will go to the line. Embiid still down for Philly. We saw him land. But again, Embiid staying on the floor. Capella gets the bounce on the side. It's not impossible. You have six minutes. But can you pitch a shutout defensively? Basically what it's going to take. And Philadelphia has been shooting around 60% throughout the game. Here's Milton fouled on the drive. Criticism has been just jumping off the court. Ben Simmons in particular, right? A special foul line. Trey Young with the ball in his hands. Driving, gets to the bucket, scoop shot. No, there's Capello though with the follow dunk. 15 played, front of them, overplayed again. Young got it on the glass. He was fouled by Simmons, and Trey Young will shoot free throws as Simmons picks up his fourth. He'll take the physical punishment. We said early on, you know, during the year, he gets to the foul line nine times a game, and then throughout the playoff is a major plus for his game. Only 22 years old, third year out of Oklahoma. Gets both foul shots, 23 points now, has Atlanta back within 13. Porkmaz is back on the floor for Philadelphia. Remember he said now, it's never over. It's never over. 13-4 run over the last four minutes by the Hawks. How will Philly respond? They go to Embiid. He drives, loses the ball, and they're going to call a foul on Atlanta.